So when we blonde our hair, that is considered unclean. Right. We were taught that blinding our hair to look like who? The other people. Right. Give me that sign. Give me that sign right there. So that sign. Yes, sir. They want you to look like that. Because they, that's what they say God is. They say God is blonde hair, blue eyes. That's the image of God to everybody, right? But what does the Bible say? The Bible says that's unclean. Right. So what is, let me ask you this. What's the will of God? Praise yourself, sir. I just, we, we just said it. We just said it. What's the will of God? Huh? Keep his commandments. Exactly. Keep the laws of God. That's what he wants you to do. He wants you to keep his law. Now read this. Psalms chapter 19 and verse 7. We're going to get what's perfect. The law of the Lord is perfect. The what of the Lord? The law of the Lord is perfect. Converting the soul. So the will of God is to keep the laws. And what makes you perfect is what? Keeping the laws. Now give me, give me Romans. Give me um, what's good. The book of Romans chapter 7 and verse 12. Wherefore the law is holy and commandment holy and just and good. So what's good is the laws and commandments of God. The Bible is very repetitive. So in order to be good, in order to be righteous, in order to be keeping the will of God, you have to do what? Keep his laws. Godly. Godly. The godly is, there you go, keeping the laws of God makes you godly, makes you godlike. Do we understand that? All right, so your pastor's not going to tell you that, but we're reading out the Bible. What version is this real quick so everybody can hear this? What version of the Bible? The Holy Bible. King James Version. The same Bible we all have is the same scriptures. My question is, why did your pastor teach you this? Why does your pastor teach you that you're supposed to be above all people? Because your oppressor taught your pastor. Right. No way in the world anyone outside of the nation of Israel should be teaching the Bible. The Bible's not for everybody. The Bible's only for you so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans. There's no such thing as God loves everybody. Let me Give me this real quick, Romans 9 to 13. If God loves everybody, which everybody likes to say, I'm going to ask a question. Ask one question. What does this mean? The book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 13. God loves everybody, right? Does God love everybody? God love everybody, bro. Do you love God? I love God. Watch this. God love everybody. Love As it is written, Jacob have I loved. He loves Jacob. But Esau have I hated. What did God say? But Esau have I hated. Does God love everybody? Huh? I'm not good, man. Does God love everybody, sis? So, hold on, we're taught that God loves everybody, but this is in where? Romans. Mm. New Testament. Mm. New Testament. Okay. Why doesn't your pastor teach you this part? So there's a lot of things in the church that they, they teach you, but it's wrong. All right, like another thing, real quick. Uh, give me the way we look, the way we're supposed to dress, all right? The way we're supposed to dress. Let me ask you this. If I if I walk out here in some speedos with my D print showing, is that modest? What kind of attention am I going to get? You get a whole lot of attention. A lot of attention, right? Yeah. A lot of attention, bad attention, right? But yeah. it's not good. Yeah. It's not good, right? Uh -huh. If I come out here in a in a nice in a nice garment, real dressed, real nice, you're going to approach me differently, aren't you? Yes. Right. It's yes. a way we dress. Yes. Give me that real quick, what you hear? The Book of Leviticus, chapter thirteen, and verse twenty-nine. Now, now I want everybody to look over there real quick. Look at Ruby Red. Ruby Red, look at Ruby Red real quick. Who owns that store again? Koreans. Koreans. They make over three billion dollars annually every year off of selling you other people's hair. That's not yours. That it grows out your scalp, right? They teach you to hate yourself. Read this real quick. Leviticus chapter thirteen, verse twenty-nine. If a man or a woman have a plague upon the head, so we're talking about a plague upon the head. Now listen very carefully. What this plague is? Is a plague a good thing or a bad thing? Bad thing. There you go. Or the beard. Then the priest shall see the plague. And behold, if it be in sight deep within the skin, and there be in it a yellow, thin hair. A what hair? A yellow, thin hair. Keep going. Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. Unclean. Now finish it up. It is a dry skull, even a leprosy upon the head or beard. So when we blonde our hair, that is considered unclean. Right. We were taught that blinding our hair to look like who? The other people. Right. Give me that sign. Give me that sign right there. So that sign. Yes, sir. They want you to look like that. Because they, that's what they say God is. They say God is blonde hair, blue eyes. That's the image of God to everybody, right? But what does the Bible say? The Bible says that's unclean. Right. 
Give me Revelation real quick. I'm going to go to the next speaker real quick. Revelation 1 and 14. The book of Revelation. Chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. Because contrary to popular belief, the image of Christ is mentioned in the Bible. Now, so we'll pull up the other side real quick. Go ahead, 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Hold on, hold on. I need everybody to listen. Everybody pay attention to what he just said. Listen. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Like what? Like wool. Wool. What does woolly hair look like? Who has them? There you go. My brother took off his head off praise. Look at my brother's hair. White like wool. That's right. That's right. Look at that. That's the image of who? Yeah. We're just revealing Jesus Christ, right? That's right. But we're not going to stop. That's a beautiful. Look at this hair, man. Beautiful, man. We all got it. Oh, brother right here, too. We all got that. Keep yeah. going. As yeah. white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Verse 15. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. And his what? And his feet. And Christ's feet. Like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brown. Brown. brown right? Brown. So Christ's feet were brown. Mm. But not only that, but keep going. As if they burned in a furnace. As if they burned in the furnace. And if you burn anything, what color is it going to become? That's dark. Dark. That's so Christ was a dark skinned man with woolly hair. Yes. Yes. Look right. just like you. That's, right. That's what we should be trying to be like every other nation. They don't have what you have. Right. God made you special. He made you according to what he looks like. Right. Right. We was made in that image. Right. So that's why that whole story right there should be shut down. Right. Why are we going to go look like everybody else? Right. God said your hair is beautiful by the way it is. Right. And if you say you don't want it like that, you're going against God. That means you hate God. That's that means right. you hate yourself. All right? Yeah, I mean, um, Real friend, no, uh, number 15. So she got it already. I hit up already. All right. Show the most high. Show the most high. Get that real quick. Not only does Christ have woolly hair, he's a dark skinned man, but he has a father, the most high God. That's right. We're going to show you what he looks like. Because if, if you have a child, most likely he should be better like you, right? And like, if you have a child, if a man, any man knows, if you have if you have your um, your, your wife and you go into her and she has a child, your hope is he, that child better look, look like you, or it's gonna be a problem, right? Yeah. All right. right, let's go. The book of Daniel, chapter seven and verse nine. I beheld that the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit. This man is the ancient of days. He pre he uh, pre exists days. He created days. He created time. So this is talking about the Most High God. Go ahead. Whose garment was like was white as snow. So the Most High God has a garment. That means he has to have a what? Have a, if you have a garment on, in order to wear a garment, you have to have a what? A body. There you go. Keep going. And the hair of his head. Oh, he has hair. The Most High God has hair. Go ahead. Like the pure wool. Like the what? Pure wool. The pure wool like my brother just brought out. We all have that. That's your gift that God gave you. All right? Is that it? His throne was like the fury flame and his wheels as burning fire. And all his power, all right? So you just heard in the Bible that you, all these times we went into church, we never heard this. Why is that? We was, we was taught to think like, that's Christ. That's the beautiful image. That we're supposed to worship that. But the whole time, he looked just like you. The whole time. So we have to change the way we think according to what the Bible says. Right. All right. Give him some more color. Give him some more color. Give some more color. Yeah. We're going with some more color. So not only not only is the most high God a dark skinned man, black man, not only is his son a uh, dark skinned man, a black man, but the prophets in his Bible. All right. All the prophets that you see, uh, you got John, Peter, Ezekiel, Jeremiah, Moses, Aaron, they were all black men. Give me that. Song of Solomon, Amen. chapter one and verse five. I am black. What did Solomon say? I am black. What did, what did Solomon say? He black. What did he say? What did Solomon say? He said, uh, Helena. He said, I am black. I am black. My brother, what did Solomon say? He's black. He's black. That's like, like us. There That's you go, like right. us. Yeah. All right, give me another one. Give me another one, sir. The book of Job, chapter 30 and verse 30. My skin is black. My skin is what? My skin is black. You have another prophet saying the same thing. His skin is black. Did you hear that in the church? No. That's yeah, give me another one. <laughs> the book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 7. We're talking about creation now. This is Adam. And the Lord God formed man. He formed man, Adam. Of the dust of the ground. When you look at the dust, what color is that dirt? It ain't white. It ain't white. What color is it? Brown. Brown. The deeper you get, it goes darker. So he made that color. That's how man was made, the color. We were dark skin. All right, so. Let me say, give me that real quick. Got another one for y'all. Listen, listen, y'all got a file, right? I, I listen. I implore y'all. 
to read that fly because your history is in Amen. this Bible. Because before, when I was in school, we taught on the slave ships. We were taught uh, once about the slave ships. That's where our history started, as enslaved. But it, it predates that, as you see in the Bible. Everyone in this Bible is our forefathers. All right, these prophets are our forefathers. That's where our history begins. All the way from Adam was created, all the way until now. We descend from that lineage. Right. Okay. Directly. Right. All right. So when you hear about Christ being from the tribe of what? Christ is from the tribe of Judah, right? That's right. What's that first? Uh, what's it say right here? You blacks. Blacks, right? So the so-called black, the black man today in America descends from who? Christ. The same exact blood that wrote, that flows through his body is flowing through yours right now because you came from the same exact tribe. It's about lineage. All right, go ahead. Lamentations, chapter four, verse eight. Their distance is blacker than a coal. Is what? Is blacker than a coal. All right, that face was blacker than a coal. All right, so when it talks about your face and your skin, it shows you that our our prophets, the prophets of the Bible were black men. Right. There's right. no debating that, okay? No debating because we heard the scriptures. Yeah. No longer can we get fooled anymore because the prophets are here to teach the truth according to the Bible. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is you.